In this video, we will try to understand how to find out the point of contrast fracture in case of overhanging beam as shown in the figure. Now the arrangement of the beam is as shown over here. It is having the left hand side overhang of 4 meter and carries uniformly distributed load of 1 kN per meter and the anti-clockwise moment of 12 kN meter at point C as shown in the figure. The first step is to find out the beam reactions. Now applying the conditions of equilibrium, summation of Fy is equal to 0, upward forces they are considered as positive whereas downward forces they are considered as negative. So Ra and Rb they are acting in the upward direction. Now uniformly distributed load is of 1 kN per meter acting for 4 meter length. So for 1 meter the load is 1 kN then for 4 meter length the load will be 1 into 4 that is minus 1 into 4 because it is acting in the downward direction. So we can say that Ra plus Rb is equal to 4 kN. Now summation of moment is equal to 0 clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative taking moments about point A. So we will start with Rb. Rb will produce anti-clockwise moment about point A. So Rb multiplied by the perpendicular distance between B and A is 16. So minus Rb into 16. This is 12 kN meter which is already anti-clockwise moment which is acting at point C. So as it is the moment itself we will take directly that particular value. Now this 1 kN per meter this load will have to convert it into a point load. So suppose we convert that UDL into point load by multiplying by the corresponding length. So 1 into 4 and acting at the center of 4. So this distance will be 2 meter that is half of this particular 4 meter and it will produce anti-clockwise moment about point A. So minus 1 into 4 is the load and the perpendicular distance is 2. So we can say that this is minus 12 and this is minus 8 that is minus 20. Transfer this minus Rb into 16 on this side so it will be Rb into 16. So it is minus 20 upon 16 that is minus 1.25. Now substitute this value in equation 1. So we can say that Ra will be equal to 4 minus Rb. Transfer this plus Rb on this side. So value of Rb is minus 1.25. So this minus minus will become plus. So Ra is equal to 5.25 kN. So negative value of Rb indicates that the direction which is upward as we have shown or as we have assumed earlier, it is not correct. It is in the downward direction. So we can say that Ra is acting in the upward direction and Rb is acting in the downward direction and now using these values of Ra and Rb we have to find out the shear force values at various point and then we have to draw the shear force diagram. So at point D the value of shear point shear force is 0 then just at the left of point A we have to take into consideration only uniformly distributed load so 1 into 4 and as it is acting in the downward direction it is negative. Exactly at point A we have to add the upward acting reaction that is Ra. So reaction Ra is 5.25 so minus 4 plus 5.25 that is 1.25 kN. Shear force at point C there is no load that is acting between A and C. So whatever the shear force is there at point A the same will be there at point C. So it is 1.25 just at the left of B there is again no shear force acting between C and B so whatever the shear force is there at point C the same will be acting at point B but exactly at point B there will be a downward acting force of reaction Rb and Rb is 1.25 and as it is in the negative as it is in the downward direction it is negative so 1.25 minus Rb so Rb is 1.25. So that value is 0. So shear force will be 0. So as you can see at point D it is 0. At point B also shear force is 0. At A it is 
minus 4 and 1.25 which remains constant throughout up to b and exactly at point b it becomes zero so this is our shear force diagram now we'll have to draw the bending moment diagram so first we'll calculate the bending moment at the end of the beam the bending moment is zero so bending moment at point d will be zero at point a we have to consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of a so on the left hand side of a we are having uniformly distributed load of 1 kilonewton meter we will convert that load again into a point load so 1 into 4 acting at the center of 4 meter length that is 2 meter and it will produce anti-clockwise moment so it is negative so 1 into 4 is the load and perpendicular distance is 2 so 1 into 4 is the load and perpendicular distance is 2 so it is minus 8 kilonewton meter just at the left of c without considering this external moment of 12 kilonewton meter which is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so just at the left hand side of c the forces which are present is ra so ra will produce clockwise moment about c and perpendicular distance between a and c is 8 so it is ra into 8 then this 1 into 4 will produce again anti-clockwise moment about point c and the perpendicular distance between this point and up to c is 2 plus 8 that is 10. so bending moment at this particular point that is left of the c is 2 kilonewton meter but exactly at point c there is an external moment of 12 kilonewton meter but it is in the anti-clockwise direction so this 2 we have to add this minus 12 kilonewton meter so it is minus 10 kilonewton meter and at point b the bending moment is zero at the end it is always zero so this is the bending moment diagram now as you can see the bending moment diagram is changing its size sign from negative to positive so we have to find out the point of contraflexure in this particular case so we have considered this particular section we have extrapolated this in, on our main diagram and suppose it is at a distance of x from point d so if this is 4 meter and this is x meter this distance that is remaining is x minus 4 meter so we'll find out the bending moment correct at this particular point suppose we call this as section x6 so we can say that bending moment at this section x6 is zero as indicated over here this is zero bending moment is zero at this particular point so we have to consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of this particular force so ra will produce clockwise moment about this and perpendicular distance is x minus 4 this 1 into 4 udl which we have converted into point load so 1 into 4 this distance is 2 plus x minus 4 so distance between this point and up to this section xx is 2 plus x minus 4 so we can say that ra is 5.25 x minus 4 as it is 2 plus x minus 4 that is x minus 2 minus 4 plus 2 that is minus 2 now multiply by this 5.25 inside the bracket so it is 5.25 into x 5.25 into 4 minus 4 into x and this minus minus will become plus 4 into 2 that is 8 5.25x minus 4x that is 1.25x and 5.25 into 4 that is minus 21 and 4 into 2 that is 8 so we can say that this is 1.25x minus 13 is equal to 0 or 1.25x is equal to 13 or x is equal to 10.4 meter from d so this is the point of contraflexure at which the bending moment diagram changes its sign from negative to positive so in this way we can find out the point of contraflexure and draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of a simply supported beam having the uniformly distributed load on the left hand side overhang and also carrying the bending moment as shown in the figure thank you very much for watching